Governor Scott Walker joins me now. Governor, great to have you with me, and thanks so much for being a part of the show today. Last Sunday, you alluded to the fact that Republicans have to be very intent on focusing, defeating Democrats, not beating up Republicans. Let's talk about how Republicans need to turn the tide to win elections, because nobody questions your, I think, credibility as a conservative. But you have not taken the idea that we need to tear down other conservatives. So, so where, where do we go from here? Well, you're exactly right. And I think for I and a lot of other folks, particularly governors who were elected in 2010, many of the people who helped elect us share our frustration, particularly with the federal government being too big, too expansive, too a part of our lives. And so we want to take action. But what I think we learned in Wisconsin, and in fact, I point out in my book, Unintimidated, other Midwestern governors in particular learned, was in 2010, we not only elected governors, we elected Republican majorities in our legislative bodies. And that made all the difference in the world. That's why we had in Wisconsin and Ohio, in, in Michigan and other states, Iowa, uh, but particularly in, the, in those three first battleground states, uh, we not only won, but we got big, bold reforms done. Why? Because we had a Republican team in place. In Washington, we don't have the same thing. We have House Republicans, people like Paul Ryan, my good friend, who are leading the way, pushing for true reform. But we still have a United States Senate controlled by Harry Reid and the Democrats, and we still, unfortunately, for the next few years, have a Democrat president. To me, the real focus should be on not on fighting Republicans in primaries in the House or in the Senate, but in going to places like your state, Arkansas, and neighboring state Louisiana, and North Carolina, and Alaska, where this year in November, there will be real elections in the United States Senate that will determine the future not only of our party, but of our country, and we need to elect Republicans to those spots. If your state had been divided, Republican versus Republican, would the reforms that you led ever have happened? No, not at, not at all. And I think that's true with what happened in Michigan with Right to Work. I think it's true what you see in other reforms across the country in states where Republicans now lead state legislative bodies and, and hold governorships. We were able to put a team in place. We had great help, not only from the Republican establishment, from the grassroots activists in the Tea Party and other elements across their state who said, we're going to help you put the power back in the hands of the people. We're going to help the hardworking taxpayers be the ones in charge. But if we had to fight our own party to do that, uh, we would have had tremendous difficulties, if not an outright barrier to that kind of reform. And so I think the real answer, and again, I share the frustration that many do, even after this last uh, budget compromise is put together, but I said the real answer is to not not to go out and attack Republicans who tried to push reform in the House or to try and uh, defeat them in primaries. It's to go out and win those winnable elections in the United States Senate. Then after that, if a year from now Republicans hold the United States Senate and they hold the United States House, if at that point we can't get things done, then I think it's legitimate to hold people in our own party accountable. But in the end, I said it's, it's sometimes I feel like there are some who want people in Washington on our side to hold their breath until the other side uh, takes on our positions. Well, the reality is sometimes holding your breath too long, all that leads to is passing out. We need to make sure that we don't pass out, that we're there to fight, and we need to make sure that we fight not only now, but that we have a game plan to win in the future. And 2014 is that all-important year. We get the Senate back, then two years later we elect a Republican president, and it's not just about winning elections at that point. It's about truly reforming the federal government, reining in the debt, reining in the deficit problems, more importantly, putting the power back in the hands of the American people. That's something we can do, but we can't do it if we're splintered off in many different directions. Governor Scott Walker, great to have you here. Thanks so much for joining us on this weekend. And take care and look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Good to be with you, Governor.